IVC. <clears throat> We're back on a Monday. Do another video, and um, got some stuff this weekend. And uh, I think it's getting a little bit too cold to uh, to be outside. But uh, you know, record shopping and all, you got to do it. So I'll show a couple CDs that I got first uh, at half price books. These are, I'm assuming they're bootlegs, but they were in a um, uh, Iggy and the Stooges book that I seen. Uh, this one here, it's called um, California Bleeding, it's Iggy and the Stooges. And this is a lo-fi recording. That's in uh, from 73 and 74 concerts. And I got this one, Double Danger. And this is a two disc. <clears throat> and this is uh, live in 73 and one in New York and one in Baltimore. And uh, this is very lo fi too. But I'm on this um, Iggy and the Stooges kick, so you know I appreciate the fact that these exist, even if they're not, you know, the best quality in the world. You know, I can't get that one closed. There we go. And uh, I didn't show you this one. So there's those, and then I'll show you my records that I got this weekend. Um, first one is <clears throat> Molly Hatchet. This is one that I didn't have. This is actually one that I don't think I've ever actually seen. I've seen it on the BC, but I haven't seen it in person. This one is called Take No Prisoners. There's the sleeve there, the lyrics on this side. And um, this is on Epic. Um, I hope that my videos are bright enough because um, I know they look they look dark when I after I watch them back, but hopefully they're bright enough. And I got this one, Bad Company. And this one was uh, after Paul Rogers left the band. Uh, they had two singles off of this one, uh, Shake It Up and No Smoke Without a Fire. And uh, this was on Atlantic, and it came out in 1988. I actually like this. I have this on CD, and um, I like it. I mean, a lot of people, I don't know, I won't say a lot of people, but some people might not even realize that that Paul Rogers had left. I'm not sure. And then I got this Devil album, Leonard Skinner, Gold and Platinum. And... Uh, I've probably seen this out, you know, different times, and I just never thought about picking it up. But uh, this one was only a dollar, and it has all the good hits, and then it has some other stuff on here that I'm not real sure if I've heard or not. But uh, hey, Leonard Skinner, you know, what can you say about Leonard Skinner other than they rock? And then uh, someone on the VC showed uh, this band recently, and I can't remember who it was, but it's uh, Rossington Collins Band, and I think it was this, I think it was this album that they showed, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they played a little sample of it, and I like the sound of it really well, so I thought, well, I'll go ahead and see if I can find some of those while I'm out. This one's called Anytime, Any Place, Anywhere. And uh, I think there's 
two members of Leonard Skinner that formed this band. I think it's uh, I think it's just two, but I'm not positive. And then I also picked this one up. Another Ross and Collins. And this one has the promotional only stamp on it. You see that like the Phoenix there, that's really awesome. And this one's called This Is the Way. This one's a gatefold. And I haven't listened to these yet, but as soon as I get done making these videos, I will be listening to these. Let's see, this one has a um, still has the order form. In it t-shirts and that's pretty cool I always like to find the inserts you know in albums that's been around for you know 30 years or more for the insert to be in there it just it seems very rare to me I know I, I all the kiss records that I've collected over the years a lot of the 70s ones do not have the inserts I mean you can always pay extra for a mint copy with all the inserts, but <clears throat> you know. And then I found this Juice Priest, Bria Steel. This was in the dollar bin. I, and I, I mean, there's it's a perfect record. I mean, there's like a little tiny scratch, you know, on one of the tracks, which I don't know if it skips yet. I haven't played it. And out of all the Judas Priest that I had, I don't think I had this one. I was going to check, but for 99 cents, you know, it doesn't matter if I have it. I mean, I, you know, that we're talking about Judas Priest here, so. But, um, yeah, this weekend I went to three record stores. Uh, the Cincinnati ones that I usually go to. Um, Shake It Records. Black Plastic and Everybody's Records. And anyone that uh, lives in the Ohio area that's never been to those, I really highly recommend all three of those stores because um, every time I go, I always find something or several somethings that I'm either looking for that's on my list or, you know, really rare stuff that you know I don't have on my list it's like uh, this should be on my list but I'm gonna buy it um, and then this is one that I didn't have rat invasion of your privacy I used to really uh, be into rat a lot which I still like all that of course um, and then this is another rat that I picked up dancing undercover and they got the little sticker there right on the front. Don't you love that? I'll probably be removing that. And this one has the, uh, it's the same on both sides. Almost the same. And then we have another UFO that I didn't have. This one is called Obsession really getting into UFO a lot and uh, all of the stuff I've heard so far I really really enjoy a lot this one has uh, a sleeve I don't know if that's the original sleeve or not probably not but you know whatever and then uh, one that I'd had on my list or just you know I'd recently said I'd like to find and it was uh, Ozzy Osbourne The Ultimate Sin and uh, I think I have all the other Ozzy ones uh, the classic Ozzy uh, except for Tribute which I seen that this weekend too and I almost picked it up but this one this one has a lot of, this is sort of an underrated album, I think. I mean, you don't hear people talk about it. But, uh, any Ozzy's good, I think. I just bought the, the 
DVD set that I reviewed in one of my other videos. The Memoirs of a Madman. And then uh, one of the main reasons that I wanted to go out this past weekend was to pick up this Metallica Kill 'em All reissue, 180 gram. And I've never owned this before on vinyl. So I was really super excited to finally get it after all these years. Have it on CD once again, but that's just not the same. So that's my uh, video from my, um, this will be, I guess, my hard rock and metal finds. I'll be making probably another video of the rest of the things that I picked up. So um, you can find me on Facebook too, and I'm also on the Facebook YouTube uh, VC page. And um, I like um, scrolling through that and um, seeing what people are listening to currently. It goes hand in hand with the YouTube VC. And uh, so if you uh, like my videos, you know, let me know, comment on them, and subscribe. And we'll see you the next time.